This is the gas burner for a gas hot water heater. And I'm not going to show you the hot water heater because the reason you're looking at this video is probably because you have a broken hot water heater and you know exactly what those look like. But uh, our, our gas valve would sit here. So if I do this, right about here on our hot water heater, this is where our gas valve is sitting here and this tube here you would see it disappear under the heater there and in my case I had floodwaters that soaked all this and kept it underwater not once but twice and these are very very fine passages here so the gas will travel this way it's under I was told that it's just like half a pound of pressure. It's very small, very small. Anyway, this is rusted up and you can see some of this. I have to go and clean all this out. And I have noticed already that this spins off. Anyway, I'll start on that and come back in a minute. And just for the record, so here's your pilot light. And this contraption here, what this is doing is the heat. If you hear those birds, there's a few cats playing outside. And the birds are telling each other like, cat, cat, cat. And there's a big uproar. One of the cats is hunting too. Anyway, so when the pilot light is on in this area here, you have a flame, that's heating this. And this is actually sending a... Um, <laughs> the bird. <laughs> this is... When this is heated up, I believe it's an electrical signal that gets created. Anyway, the gas valve that is sitting here senses that this is in fact hot, meaning that the pilot light is on, and then it releases the gas, or it knows that it's okay to release the gas. So if your pilot light ever goes out here, this cools down and the gas valve stays shut. That's the safety feature. All right, let's take a look at this, what's going on here. Now, you got these two guys. And then you got birds flying there. I wish Puddin would come and get all his birds out of here. So this spins off rather easy. I believe, oh, you know what? I forgot to show you something. So here is the problem. As I was saying before, the gas isn't going down this tube. And if I blow on it, listen for the second, nothing comes through, through there. So that's what we're trying to fix. And I'm going to blow on this tube again from the other side. So there's, that's not our problem. I imagined water got in here. But this, what can you see? This is our problem. Should be a quick fix. 
You know, this reminds me of a jet, the way we have worked on uh, carburetors. I may have got that. Let's see if I can hold this so you could see it. Right. Mm, right there. But again, we're after that, right? There. I can kind of see it. I'll have to just describe it. A little bit of scaling rust got in there. It's clear, I can't really get the camera to show you, maybe farther away. So if you have this issue, you might be able to spin this off without removing all of this. But that came off pretty easy anyway. Alright, let's go put it back on. The passage is definitely clear at this point. Have a listen. Okay. So I'm in the pilot position. Can you see? There's the pilot light. So now heat is generating a signal here up this line which goes into the gas valve. Let's take a look at the gas valve. And I'm holding my finger down on the pilot. You're doing this because you want the pilot light to heat that gizmo. And that'll tell the gas valve that it's okay to release the gas. Is basically sensing the flame, you could say. Okay, let's go to on position. And it seems to work. So this was a working water heater before the floods, and there were two floods. And they were 16 days apart, so water settled, and apparently the rust got in there. People say that spiders will build webs. But again, um, I think that didn't happen in this case. So what do you think? And a second look here. Although it may be possible to spin off that burner while it's all connected, it's fairly easy to take it all out. But I would try to spin it off if I could, the cleaning the, the jet, or whatever that would be called, was uh, fairly easy. So, uh, uh, it's possible that if you spun that off, it would work. Okay, see you all later. This airplane's ready to fly.